Every year my mother-in-law grows garlic and uh, if you've ever raised garlic, if you've ever grown garlic, uh, you know that garlic is like an opposite season. You plant it in the fall and then you harvest it this time of year. The goat's yelling for me. Uh, today I'm going to be hanging up some of the garlic up here so that it can dry out. So today I'm gonna hang these hooks. Garlic needs to cure. Once you harvest your garlic this time of year, you pull it up, uh, it needs to dry out so it can be preserved. And the cool thing about curing garlic, unlike curing meats or other things, canning, that sort of thing, uh, garlic you can just hang in a shady spot that's dry and it will dry out and it'll be preserved perfectly like the day you picked it uh, with nothing fancy, no hard, techniques or skills, all you gotta do is hang it up. So today, we're gonna hang up some hooks and uh, start curing the garlic. And that way, we have the garlic we wanna eat all year, or my mother-in-law does at least, and uh, the biggest, nicest cloves are gonna be saved uh, for future seeds for next year's garlic, which will be planted in the fall. These are nice, big, heavy-duty hooks. You're probably wondering why am I hanging such heavy-duty hooks uh, just to put a couple heads of garlic on. Uh, these will be good for multi-purpose. When the garlic's gone, we can hang extension cords on it, tools. So I figure I just put the biggest, heavy dutiest thing up I got, and then uh, we'll have it. Well, that should be enough for the garlic, and I think it'll even work for tools. Look at that! So whatever we're not using for garlic, we'll hang some tools up. Pretty sweet. Get stuff out of our way.
Okay, we're all done hanging up the garlic and uh, we're gonna leave it here for probably a month or two to dry out. Uh, my mother-in-law, she'll take the bulbs that are the biggest, that look the best, and she'll save those for the seeds, which will be planted in the fall. And uh, whatever doesn't look biggest and best, well that will come inside nice and dried out and be used to make some delicious food. The bulbs that are selected for seeds, uh, each individual piece of garlic is a seed, uh, those will go in the refrigerator because it'll keep it cold enough so it actually doesn't start sprouting until we want it to, which is when it gets planted. So if you want to save your own garlic, take some of the bulbs, throw them in the fridge. So it's really, really good garlic. We had a little bit already. You can eat it fresh. You can pull it right out of the garden and start using it. Um, but if you want to, if you have a lot of it and you want to make sure it lasts all year, you got to cure it. So we're curing the garlic today. That's how it's done. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our videos, sign up to our email list so that every Friday I send out an email with all our videos. I'm going to start doing that again because we got internet back. And if you want to support our show, you can do that by becoming a Homesteady Pioneer. Five bucks a month gets you access to bonus content, courses, discounts on things. You can learn more there. Thanks for watching.